uh, this is part three of my external series. I'm doing glow ESP in this one, as you can see by that dude that's red over there. Anyway, um, it's going to be much simpler than you think, really. Um, if this is the first episode that you're watching in the series, please watch part one, okay? Don't You don't need to watch part two if you don't want to, but please watch part one because that's where I show you where to find the base that I'm going to use, how to download it, and how to install it, okay? Uh, anyways, uh, the Glow ESP looks like this. Um, you can change the color, change the thickness, all that. Um, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do is make a function. Like the last one, I'm just going to say Glow ESP. <clears throat> and I'm going to need a parameter, actually. It's going to be IDX. What does that mean? Um, we got a parameter here called IDX. <clears throat> that means index. And um, basically, we're going to be calling this function in a loop. Um, and uh, this is going to be the number in the loop. Okay. And yeah. So first thing we want to do is let me get my notes because I don't know what I'm doing. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to say auto. Uh, auto just means uh, it's going to dynamically choose what uh, data type this variable has to be so that we don't have to type it out ourselves. Um, and I'm just going to say uh, get end base, which is yeah. And we're going to put IDX in there, okay? Okay, so, all right, so once we got the base, we can see if it's an enemy. So I'm just going to say if um, entity. All right, that was not good vibes. Oh, that, that, that. Alrighty boys, so I'm going to see if it's an enemy, so I'm just going to say get end team right there, and I'm going to pass the player, which we got before. So if that is not equal to the local player team, well, then it's an enemy, right? And we want to see them through balls. So, um, yeah, so if it's not an enemy, we want to do the glow ESP. So first thing we need to get is the glow object, uh, which I'm going to just say is GOBJ. And it's as easy as entity get glow object and then just passing. Oh no, actually you don't even need to pass anything. So just call the function and you'll get the object. And then we need to get the index. So I'm going to say glow IDX. And this one's going to be get glow index. And we're going to have to pass the player here. So player. Then after that, all we're going to need to do is just one simple function call to glow ESP. And this is where you pass uh, your parameters. So I'm going to say uh, glow in glow object, then the glow index, and then uh, you can pass uh, the red, green, and the blue, and then the alpha. Uh, you pass these from as values from zero to two five five. So for the red, I'm just going to do 255 because I want it to be only red. And then for green, I'm going to put zero and then blue, I want zero. Okay. Um, the alpha is between zero and 255 as well. And basically the alpha is like the thickness of the outline. Okay. So if you want max thickness, like really noticeable lines, you can do 255. That's like a bit too thick for me. I usually like, I don't know, 150 to 200. That's what I usually use. It just looks clean. So I'm going to put 150 in there. Um, yeah, that's basically it for the function. All we do is we get uh, the entity base. We check if it's an enemy. If it is, then we just put the glow ESP on him. Um, so what you want to do down here in this while loop, you want to make a for loop. And we're just going to iterate um, from 0 to uh, 32. All right. So while it's less than or equal to 32, I plus plus and we're just going to call glow ESP and pass I as the index all right so what we're doing here is we're just loop loop oh my god so what we're doing here is we're just looping 32 times and if we find an enemy then we just outline them if not we just keep going okay so let's build it and hope it works Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, uh, if you learned anything or got any value from it, please uh, hit the like button. 
uh, it'll really help me out and show me that I'm on the right track making the right content uh, also if you're not already please subscribe um, at 1000 subscribers I'm going to be doing uh, an internal series just like this I'm going to show you how to make bhop triggerbot aimbot flow esp uh, internally I'll probably use like a base or something thanks for watching and see you later